All right, today we're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the hypotenuse. Okay, so on your notes, we're looking at this side. We're just finding the hypotenuse a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is on your reference material. There's no need to memorize it. You'll be able to use your reference material on a quiz and a test. Also, when you go home, where is the reference material available? Canva is on. Canva is under modules, under resources. Also, in the back of your textbooks, both of them, uh, the last page should be a reference material as well. Okay? All right. So, let's get started. Let's actually find it on the reference material. Do you all see the Pythagorean theorem? Everybody needs to be able to find it? Good. Where it says additional resources oh, in the very first one. All right, so given a right triangle, if side A equals 4 inches and side B equals 8 inches, what is the measurement of side C rounded to the nearest 100? If it doesn't give us a picture, what do we do? We're going to draw a picture. So everybody draw a right triangle. Here's our right triangle. And side A is what? 4 four inches, and then A and B represent what vocabulary word? Legs. Legs. Where are the legs located? Good. On, uh, on both sides of the right angle. So does it matter which side is A or B? No. No, it doesn't matter at all. So label that four inches, and side B will be eight inches. And they want to know side C. Side C is also called what? The hypotenuse. You got it. Determine, so step one, determine whether you're missing the short or the long side. Because we're finding the hypotenuse all day today. The hypotenuse is the shortest or the longest side? The longest. It is the longest, longest side. So that's a good check. So we know that the side length is going to be greater than 8, right? It's a nice check there. All right. So always start out with F is going to represent the formula. Always write your formula. So I know you know the formula that you're supposed to be using for this problem. Are we good? The next thing we're going to do is substitute in our measurements. And A, we said was going to be 4 squared. B, we're going to substitute in 8 squared equals C squared. Are we good so far? And now that we have written the formula, we substituted in our numbers, we're now going to solve. Are we good? So, of course, you have a calculator. 4 squared is 16. 8 squared is 64. We got it. Equals C squared. Are we good? What is the sum of the squares? 80 equals C squared. So this is the an area of 80. How do we find just the side length? Good. Find the square root, right? What times what? It's you C squared. C times C, right? So the square root of C squared is just C, right? Which is what we want. I went to undo a square and use a square root. Go oh, right. Did that go in? All right. So square root of c squared is c, and I'm going to put a about symbol. It's not going to be exact. And the square root of 80, and again, we want to the nearest hundreds is what? In your calculator. Square root of 80. 8.94. And look, it is our longest side. It's greater than 8. Are we good? Questions? All right, turn it over to the back. And with your table, I want you to try number 1 and number 2. Solve for the missing side. Number 1, the first thing you're supposed to do what? You got it. Let's write the formula. A squared plus B squared equals C 
squared. And we're going to substitute in our numbers. 14 squared plus 13 squared equals 16 squared. Is it okay if you switch 14 and 13? Yes. Yes. All right, and now we're going to solve. Okay, and what was the sum of the squares here? 169 plus 186 is 365. Okay, and then how do we solve for just C? Yes, the square root. The square root of C squared is just side length C. And the square root of 365 to the nearest tenths is what? You got it, 19.1. Feet. Let's include our units. Good. All right, and number two, you were to write your formula. A squared plus C squared. And we're going to substitute our numbers in 50 squared plus 45 squared equals C squared. Now we're going to solve what is the sum of the square of the legs? 1,000? 4,000. And then how do we solve for just the side length? The square root of 4,525 to the nearest tenths is 67.33 centimeters. I guess they're about, right? We're good? Questions? All right, let's look right below in your notes. And for the, these four questions, we're going to do number one together. We're going to determine whether or not the side lengths represent a right triangle. So we did this yesterday with models. Okay, today we're going to do it with given side lengths. We're going to circle the correct answer, yes or no, and we're going to show work. So we can simply just substitute this into our formula. So A, oops. Is three. So we have three squared plus four squared equals nine squared. In your calculator, where you put anything in, I want you to put it in exactly like that in your calculator and then hit enter. So type in three squared in your calculator plus four squared and the equal sign. Do you remember where the equal sign is? And 9 squared, when you hit enter, what does it say? Well, it said it. False. Is that a right triangle? No. Yeah. Is that false? No. Okay, I'll give you about two more minutes to include two, three, and four and determine if those side lengths create a right triangle. All right, number two, if you were to put in your calculator 20 squared plus 20. 1 squared equals 29 squared. And what'd you get? Yeah. It is a right triangle. Number three, you put in 7 squared plus 14 squared equals 25 squared. Does that give you a right triangle? No. No, that is not. Those three side lengths do not create a right triangle. All right, number four, a squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. Yes. Questions? All righty then. We have a math lib 